Hello, hello from Intrada, right here on the courtyard. Really nice, beautiful view out the front. Really nice, big, spacious front courtyard. So you got some room to sit out front. And we'll go ahead and give you a little walk through here. Nice, big, spacious entry, huge, huge front door. So, and then immediately on the left here, you've got a linen closet, coat closet here, and then you come into a couple of bedrooms in the front. You've got a half a bath here, and then you've got a bedroom in the front, and these are all en suite. So you have a bathroom and a walk-in closet, and nice shower, tile to the ceiling, Nice looking pebble floor. It's got the nice looking Southern exposure on this front bedroom, looking out the front there across the courtyard. And then when we come back a little bit, there's a bedroom here. And again, this one has some windows to the north of the Big Red Mountain. It's got the walk-in closet and a bathroom with a nice shower. Again, tile to the ceiling. Nice tile on the floor of the bathrooms too. It's the same that's throughout the house, which is this. So, again, the entryway, and we'll go ahead and go straight through at this point. So you got this really nice looking, there's Troy, we know him. And so right here on the left, you've got an office, Dan. They're using this, this would be a fourth bedroom. So it does have a closet and it has a window for egress. You could use it as a bedroom. Right now it's definitely suited as an office, but there's, there's plenty of room to use it for a bedroom. It's got the barn door. And then we come into the great room and what a great view from the great room. You got this water feature. We'll just cut right straight to this view. Look at that. So the big red mountain, Kayenta, is just right here. And of course you've got all these beautiful red mountains, the water feature, the pool. Let's look at the pool and your privacy. So as far as up this way, I don't think you can get you any more privacy, but I don't think there's anybody really up higher that's gonna be looking at you. The house to this side is actually sit down about maybe six feet lower than you are so you know you may plant some stuff here that could give you a little more privacy there but you you actually sit further back than they do too so i guess the most privacy you lose will be to those houses over there with the pool what a beautiful patio though great grill these doors open all the way up so you're just wide open to the house to the outside Got a little butler pantry here with a Coke fridge. Got a gas grill, Wolf. And let's just take you, look at the size of this kitchen granite. So if we make a right here, we're gonna go back into the master bedroom, which also shares these red mountain views from the bed. Wake up to that in the morning. It is a beautiful view. I'm sure you'll have some live wildlife out here, some uh, swans and herrings, turtles, frogs, big, big high ceilings, really nicely done, nice fans, surround sound throughout the house, could come with it. They'll have it set up specifically for you. Eight foot stain grade doors, Moldings set off really well. The, the moldings on the floor are not painted. They are, they are painted rather, they're not solid wood. So you got some nice countertops and you have a built-in sauna here in the master. This is actually taken up part of like a closet. So if you didn't want that sauna, you could have a separate closet right there. Big, huge, nice shower, double header, a little seat. Nice tub. Then you walk straight through the master into the master closet. 
very spacious, well laid out, and it has all of the nice cabinets with these pull downs so that you can put all of your Cache Valley coats up high because you won't be needing them anymore. And then you go right into the laundry room. Isn't that nice? Very nicely finished out. It's got some nice looking countertops. And then it goes into another office. So it would be easy if you don't need a lot of office space to use this office and make that other one a bedroom. So, central vac, coat closet as you come in. And this is uh, a butler pantry. So you've got your dishwasher and you've got everything in a butler pantry, which is located right behind the kitchen there. And so as we're backing out, we're going to the mud room. Got a nice coat closet there for the mud, as well as some more linen closet. Nice storage area. And then the uh, three car garage. So they did the epoxy floor. It's got the nice high ceilings, the big tall garage doors. Got lots of built-in cabinets painted to kind of match. Really looks nice. You've got a window, a little door. You've got a window, two windows for light. Looks nice and bright in here. And then of course you come out. This subway door, there's your AC unit. Neighbor's house, your gas, and the front. Give me a holler.